Yo. It's your boys. Brother Ooch. IQ. We are the Full Power Podcast. Let's go. What's happening, everybody? It's your boys. The crew back again, once again, with another episode of the Full Power Podcast. It's your host that tries to know the most, it's your boy Ooch. And of course, I'm joined by the Iceman, Brother Ooch, and the smartest Ooch of them all. <laughs> what the brains? IQ Ooch. How is everybody doing today? Brother Ooch, you first, sir. What's going on? I'm vibing. Just another day at work, second day, just grinding. On the new job? On the new job. Okay, congratulations. Congratulations are in order. What's going on? Yeah, no, it's good. And then just another school day, mm -hmm. reviewing for the midterms for next week. So damn. Study up. It's midterm season already. God damn. Three classes. Sheesh. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. That, I'm chilling. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. IQ. Back in the uh, surrounding uh, cityscape, in your uh, your high building office, overseeing the city justice. Of <laughs> 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 so what's going on, man? How you doing today, sir? I'm all right. I got notified that I have like four quizzes on Friday, so oof. Sheesh. Oh, bro. They they gotta have to like. I don't know. They gotta like. They're definitely like scheming with each other. <laughs> they got it. Like the teachers, like yeah, let's all put it on one day. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like that should better be separate classes, right? Imagine if that shit was like all, <laughs> like one class. It's like, why the hell did you have four quizzes in one class? That'd be OD. Oh, right, no. So wait, what are the, what are the classes that you have these quizzes in? Calc, Ew. physics, AP Gov. What the Gov? Yeah, government. Yeah, I know. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the third what's the fourth one uh literature ap lit jeez that's a that's the a fuck, doozy the fuck there's a quiz in literature I, you don't quizzes in literature yeah like i don't know they like vocabulary and shit sentence structure i don't know <laughs> fuck it. it's been so long since i've been in school man i don't know yeah what? that's crazy did you do you not remember having tests and quizzes in in classes in like English? this? Yeah, honestly, not really. <laughs> 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 I just remember like the dreadfulness of the papers and everything. Oh, of course. Yeah, that shit was, not, that not, shit so was much, ass. not so much of quizzes though. Maybe like you know reading assignments and all that bullshit. But well, yeah. I mean, unless unless you're talking about you know they putting they they're doing a quiz on whatever you were reading that makes a little more more sense, mm. you know about what happened in the book in certain stages and shit that I kind of remember. So yeah, so like, do you do what what is, what are your quizzes for literature, for example, about like what's what's the content on? If you, and you we could go from there, I guess. Like, for this one, we had to like read a book over break. Okay, so yeah, there you so go. It is, See, it is, it is exactly yeah. like that. That's the only thing these niggas nah, can really but quiz then, <laughs> But then she's gonna give us like a, a AP prompt, oh. and we have to use our book to make a what is it? An argument about like whatever, whatever the prompts like, <laughs> like because the prompt could be like, oh, some blah blah blah. Show like a internal conflict in the book, and yeah, you gotta, like argue show evidence okay that makes sense yeah sounds pretty standard to me mm -hmm. yeah all right well, well if you want to hear your name shot at the, end, at the end of these episodes you want to support us you want to sponsor you want to get all this extra exclusive bonus content and all that behind the scenes footage and emphasis on supporting us making this studio evolve Hit us up, fullpowerpod at gmail.com. That's the email. Full Power Podcast on the Patreon page. That's Full Power Podcast on the Patreon page. If you have a comment, question, concern, business inquiry, or fan art you're trying to sponsor, hit us up, fullpowerpod at gmail.com. That's fullpowerpod at gmail.com. So, today, we're going to be talking about some interesting things because, uh, well, it's, 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 it's going to be one of these episodes where we are pretty much going to be 
starting with one topic and it'll go into whatever else. Brother Ooch, we started a conversation about money. <laughs> money, 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 money. And everybody loves money, right? So the interesting thing is, and I should I should start and preface this. We are not financial advisors. <laughs> no, sure. We are not here to try to change your life for whatever the hell you're about to hear. <laughs> so we're going to put those dis disclaimers out there just to cover our asses because this this conversation could go in, you know, a bunch of different ways. And the and the interesting part is, Jared, I cut him off so that we could continue having this conversation with you a part of it because I feel like since you're the IQ here. I mean, he's 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 getting that today. Oh no no no! I, I'm sure I'm sure he, he is. Really That's what I'm saying. Because like because here's a, here's the thing, <laughs> yeah. right? The fans that listen to us and hear us, they probably have some sort of like, I don't know, like, they probably have some sort of judgment on us, right? Like they probably think I'm a certain way. They probably think you're a certain way. They probably think IQ is a certain way, right? But when they hear you start talking about this, they're gonna start being like, wait a minute. Brother Ooch is like that, right? So, call me Money IQ. Mo oh, <laughs> okay, that doesn't really have a credit, ring to it. Credit IQ. Money Ooch. Money Ooch. Nah, bro, bro. Yeah. So, all right. So, so like, where we? So basically, what we're talking about, just to kind of refresh our memory on, and then to to pick you up to speed, right? Dad is the one who started this whole like thing. Right, he he sent us a video. He said, "Watch this; is important." Da 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 da. Oh no, he showed me too. He made me watch it. <laughs> okay, so so uh, you uh, so you're more in tune with this than I than I anticipated. Okay, so that makes it even better. So yeah, I watched the whole hour and a half video. Oh wow. Okay. Do you, do you know what's going on? What do you think? Well, yeah. I mean, like, the guy was kind of annoying. He gave like, me like fifty examples. <laughs> <laughs> in terms in terms of money, what? How do you? Like, what's your relationship with money at your age right now? Tell you shit. I guess, I guess we could start there. Yeah. Spend it on games. There it is. <laughs> there it is. You see, so he, yeah, yeah, he's not. He's, he, I mean, but he's young. I don't even so. get. I don't even get income. Yeah, he doesn't. So like, he doesn't facts. Have, you know, income. That's true. So the premise, the the pre, the premise of this, because I don't think this is gonna take up the whole episode, because I, you know, I'm sure there'll be room for talking about other things. Um, that will m cater more to what you guys are actually coming here to listen to. But I just thought it was interesting enough to change it up, to spice it up, to spruce it up or whatever, to talk about this, right? So basically, this is about like a way to essentially pay yourself, correct? Mm. Yeah, essentially. Essentially, right? It's okay. The thought. It's the thought. So... Brandon, it you, makes it so you don't have to take a loan from a bank and pay them over right, time. Right, correct. So you just pay yourself. That's yeah. right. So that's the idea, right? So now, so if you if you would like to ex explain that a little bit more, how you were explaining it to me at the dinner table. Yeah. Go ahead. You could you could you could let the people know, and then and then I'll take it from where we left off, pretty much. So we're not advertisers whatsoever. We're but. not. That's another disclaimer. But. Good shit. We are not. Yeah, yeah. No. And we're not sponsored either. I can not tell you. I, I I can tell you that right now. We're fucking. We're not sponsored, or else you'd see this computer not fucking uh, staggling like that. <laughs> anyway, so this, these are just general thoughts, ideas that are stirring. You know, that could be potential for anybody. Honestly, for like, if they want to give it a shot, I have not. You know dived into the opportunity just because i just finished the videos right like uh like i've just been re-watching like s certain parts of it you know like the whole method behind it but anyway i guess i'll get into it basically from what i know from the video it's basically a whole life insurance policy mm -hmm. where you do a net injection which is basically a fancy word for depositing like you do your first deposit uh -huh. of whatever that amount is and the example dude was explaining um that he used an example of like depositing or net injecting or net injecting 25 grand so twenty five thousand mm -hmm. for your first year and the whole point like jared was mentioning is to utilize this as an opportunity to pay yourself so that way you don't have to pay banks like when you take loans or you know even uh for like credit card interest rates and stuff like that mm -hmm. um just you know overall so basically this whole 
whole life insurance policy is to uh, negate the fact that you have to go grab a loan elsewhere and then pay interest off with you know the banks and all that. So instead of paying the interest you uh, that you would normally pay at the banks, you could pay a lesser interest rate to yourself and over the lifespan of however long you decide to continue doing this whole life insurance policy, you will not only pay your net injection back over a certain period of time, but you will have accrued the interest rate that has been piling up over the years. Mm. Like, you know, up until the life of your net injection from the beginning period up until maybe like year six, year seven, maybe earlier, depending on how um, invested you are into Uh it. But that's pretty much the whole spiel about the video. So, yeah, it's like, you know, if you have... Like, it's not even really just about debt. It's like you could, he's, the dude was saying you could use it towards anything. Right. So, right, you right. know, whether you got debt consolidation through, um, like with credit cards, you got bank loans, you know, like mortgages. Um, you know, it doesn't even have to just be those things. It could be food, gas, you know, it could be small shit too. But, you know, for the big stuff, this is like, this will help you because you're not, you know, taking out a loan for debt consolidation or, alone to buy a house or some shit like that but obviously in order for this to work you obviously have to work with some type of funds but you know the in the example dude did use like a big number like twenty five thousand. Oof. We not everybody got twenty five thousand. i got so, twenty five dollars <laughs> but he was basically saying you know if it's too high you can always just drop the zero make it twenty five hundred a year or you know like so he's working with yearly numbers like at this point. So to make it, you know, uh, I don't want to say it like conflicting. Not, not conflicting, but like, so you're not as, or less threatening, I guess I'll say. Okay. So it's like, you know, you're not too scared that you got to put in like, oh no, it's not. It doesn't mean you're putting in 2,500 a month. It's like, cause that's crazy. But 2,500 a year. And then like, you know, you're paying the life of what you're paying the life of whatever, um, interest rates you got accumulated, you know, from whatever debt you have, essentially. It's like you're paying yourself throughout the entire year. Then whatever that total balance is of accrued interest, then the following year, then you net inject this, this same fixed amount or less depending on how your system is. And then you basically use a percentage of that plus the entirety of the accrued interest. And then you pay more debt. Then the next year, it's like pretty much the same thing, but you're paying the more debt you pay off, the more you put in or the more interest you essentially start paying yourself. So that accumulates to a bigger number. Keep net injecting the same amount. And then it's like it's recycling from what I understand, you know, from what I got from the entire video. So that's pretty much what it is. But as far as like the percentages go, it's like. Anywhere between, like, I guess, like, 55 to, like, 90% um, of the funds that you net inject, you take to pay debt. And then it's, like, recycling shit. So every year, you know. So I guess you could start asking questions. (laughs) But but that's, like, the moral of it, even though that was a lot of information. But Okay, so the the first thing I want to, I guess, emphasize here is that the starting point of this whole entire shindig, I'll call it, is the fact that you need to have a starting amount. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't have that, you can't do shit. (laughs) That's literally how that goes. So you obviously used a number that was like an example. So the dude said Mm 25000 Then he said he to make it. Sound. I mean, it's because he did like card payments and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a it's a big thing. So it's like it really boils down to what you're trying to pay off. So like, and it's what you it's what you're trying to pay off, but it's what you can afford to as well. Because the one thing he mentions is he's not trying to change your cash flow. He's not trying to change, you know, any of your expenses, your like the things that you want to do or anything like that. He's just trying to add one extra step to our financial life to, you know, for us to 
essentially earn all the money that we're really paying the banks to pay ourselves. Right. To reuse, recycle, but also to inevitably, after a certain period, we're, we're, we have more. Yeah. Because of and he all says it's better interest. than putting your money in a bank because with because he said that like compound interest like yeah, no one uses interest. compound interest but the banks use it for you yeah right okay all right all right all right so here all right so here's where I come in if you're gonna make a whole like how do I even want to word this like if, if you're gonna make this whole system where you're taking from yourself Mm-hmm. Isn't that just not a very similar way of just saving money as it is? Like, mm-hmm. like, like if you were really strict with it, though. Like, think about what I'm saying. Because, like, if you just dumped it into a regular savings account. Because, put it like, because, like, listen to this. Because, like, if I have a savings, which I do, right? If I have a savings account and I don't touch that money, but if I'm actively putting more into it, let's say every check. Right, every check I get paid, I put like however much money, and and I don't touch it unless mm-hmm. until I do. Right. The only thing I'm not doing is I'm not doing this like interest rate or whatever, yep. which is like completely up to you anyway. Mm-hmm. So because I'm already doing like a fixed amount of how much I'm putting in, I'm already saving. I'm just not like. I'm I'm not I'm just not making this sound all complicated because I guess like the whole point of this is just to like pay off your own debt that you may or may not have mm-hmm. right but w- w- with your money and fully your money without having to take loans out because I guess cuz like when I hear that shit I'm just like damn do people really try to like pay off debt with making more debt and I guess that shit does happen yeah, which is kind of crazy yeah. um but yeah, cause like to me that doesn't even sound that doesn't even make sense. Like why the fuck would you do that? I mean, that's what the rich do, low key. <laughs> they like, yeah. I mean, cause the thing it's, is, it's like if cause like it's it, it comes down to common sense. If you borrow from somebody that you're gonna have to pay back, yeah. To then pay this off, you're still gonna have to pay them back. Of course. <laughs> but <laughs> but you see, th- this is what I guess this is what this whole life insurance policy is kind of triggering because it's like why would you want to pay somebody else if you could pay yourself no but you have, i i get know, that but that but but thing. to do that you need to have like capital of course yeah, like yeah. Co- like od capital like like this guy no wonder why he said 25 grand as a star are you kidding me well not because i mean he's <laughs> he's talking I mean, he about put, he put like the thing he did put 10k per year <laughs> so he had, he, had, he had two examples one was 25k one was 10 so basically, he put 10k per year, yeah. and then in like the fifth year, he did a 25k car payment, where he basically purchased the entirety of the car, but then he was paying himself like a fixed interest rate. Um, he was paying himself what it, you would pay the bank yeah. if you were to get a loan for the car. Yeah. So like for example, 500 a month, he was basically paying himself 6,000 a year, and for five years, and so. By the end of the seventh year, he was net injecting 10k for seven, so that's 70k already. And then for the f- like five through ten, wait no, was it? I think it was like because he had like a eight year timeline. So year one through seven, he was putting in 10k of uh, uh, net injecting. And then the year fourth, eight, he didn't put anything yeah, in. Yeah, the fourth year, he took out 25. He basically loaned himself. 25k to pay off the car and then he acted as if he was paying the bank but he was really paying himself like a regular ass car payment like 500 a month so five times 12 six thousand and then for five years so that adds up to about 30k so overall he had a net injection of 70 70 plus 30 which equals 100 and so when you subtract 25k from that you're left with 75 and change or like you know a little under depend like because the spreadsheet he gave he was under he was a little bit under like 75 but he was he he basically after after that then like the following spreadsheet this was a year two at this point or not 
Nah, I'm fucking the whole thing up. And this was like year in, nine. He only, in, he only put in 70k and he has a car now. Yeah, he has a fully paid off car. It's his, um, but he's still the whole the whole point is basically he's continuously still paying himself 6k like a year. Like I got the shit. I get listen, I don't know. I understand the concept behind this whole pick. thing, which is very is a very interesting like thing to do, which I mean, if you're able to swing it, I mean, go for it, I guess. But like the whole point that I'm trying to make is like in order for any of that to work, you need to have a substantial amount of funds or money. I'll just call I mean, it that you got to it start It's better if you start like before earlier. Right, so like, like the, that's why like that, that like told when me you, as soon as I get out of college. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, when, yeah. when you do all that math, it's like you basically end up with like an extra 5K, I think, at the end of the day. And then you follow that up in the following year. You don't have to net inject anything anymore. You just continuously pay the 6K, like the so, 6K of interest a year and it accumulates. So, and then. So this yeah. is literally only. For when again, so this is this is for when you're either trying to pay off debt or pay off something expensive that you would have went to the bank for or it's use some sort like, of credit card or some shit like that. It's just like advanced saving. It's, it's yes. But you don't get you don't get like a penalty for anything. You just take out whenever you want. That's the thing, That's right? The other thing. That's the other thing, right? So like you don't get any penalty, but what the real penalty is, is if you fuck up and you slip up and you say, eh, it's my money. I'm going to change my own rules. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, I, I mean, from, from what I remember, I believe with this whole policy thing and the way the plan is set up, it's set up so that way you, you limit your fuck up because it's like you have to pay a certain amount per month or something like that. Like, like to yourself, like as the interest. So that way, because that's the whole idea. Like without, without you paying the interest after your net injection, you're, that's where the plan fails. Cause you're not, you're not paying nothing. Like, it's like, you're acting as if, you know, you, you just, whatchamacallit, you just had the, the cash flow to make the purchase just like anything else, but you don't pay yourself back or essentially you wouldn't pay anybody back. You just you just let the cash go. The whole point of this is to you know, is to you know get the cash flow, get the money, spend it, but then over the lifetime, you get the money back, and then, and then you're able to reuse it to get more. <laughs> like, yeah, like I understand it. Like this is like a recycling system. It's a recycling. System it's a recycling sure. system to not only beef up your savings because that's literally what it is. It's like you're 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 you have a big starting point. Like it's like you have like when you're playing Monopoly, you have a bank. That bank has a certain amount of money. That is essentially what you're doing with yourself. You're playing with yourself. <laughs> okay, but you're you're being smart about it. And I guess like so in his case, right? He has no debt right now. He's a young bull, right? I'm good. He's chilling. So if he was to start this like tomorrow, he would not be able to. Start. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 <laughs> listen. I ain't got no income to start. That's what I'm saying. You have no income, right? But let's say, let's say you had like a hundred dollars to your name right now in cash, right? It'll be gone when something a game drops. Okay, right. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth come out <laughs> this week, right? <laughs> I don't even got money to get that. Bro. So Persona got me. <laughs> oh yeah, Persona got you. So, so let's say for the sake of argument, he has a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. He puts it in a savings, and this is what his. This is the start to his new journey. And this account. In this account. This, this account that we're talking about. Okay. So that means that he would have to have that. That that would literally just sit there for the year. That would sit there for the year. That would, but you would be inclined to use it within thirty days. That you why? Because the oh, faster, because the, the faster you use it within thirty days, the more interest you'll see accumulated throughout. But the that's entirety of the but year. you would have to have the money for that though. For what? For that interest. 
Yeah. Because the point is, you're you're the one putting the interest in. Because, you, I mean, you have to make an income to do this shit. And that's, <laughs> you can't just do this shit for free. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't like, do it. Like, you can't have just one. You can't expect to have one deposit and then make all your payments within 30 days. What happens with the other 11 months? That's you, what I'm saying. You need, you need your actual <laughs> income. <laughs> sitting on the thing with the whole, thing with the whole process is that, like, you have you have motion. Mm -hmm. Like nothing ever stays stationary. Like if you put it in a bank, yeah. Oh, cause, okay. Because yeah. the, the basically his point is the future value of money always depreciates. <laughs> like okay, okay, okay. The, the value today is always gonna be greater than the value. All right. So future. better, better example, better example. Okay. So he starts with a hundred. Game comes out, seventy dollars. Seventy percent of his income, or seventy percent of the hundred. So yeah. he takes seventy dollars out. But then when he puts it back in. How much is he putting back in? He's not putting back 70. What is he putting in? Like 80? Or is that a, like too high of an, a percentage then? Well, if we're only talking about, I guess, one thing and he's trying to pay himself back and the maximum value he can pay himself back in interest in this plan would be 6%, I guess, maybe 7. Okay, so 6% so of 70. Six, uh, is like $4. So okay, so he would you be paying 74. 74. Okay. Okay. I, I, I see how it works. I see how it works. I know. I already saw how it works. Because then you start to get money. Yeah, exactly. But cause, yeah, because now you're going to have like $104. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but th that's, 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 that's correct, right? Mm -hmm. Based on, based on, okay, so, so, right. So now he's got $104. All right. So, so next thing you know. But then, you know, so let me see. Because. I don't want. I don't want this to confuse y'all niggas. No, 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 no. Okay, so so another example, right? Okay, so we're gonna we're we're gonna use Jared's account as the example because his is the most easiest to follow, right? All right, so now my boy, you had a hundred four dollars. Yeah, easy numbers. You got, got easy numbers, digits. right? Easy numbers. Okay. Next thing you know, we hit up Barnes and Nobles. He sees a new volume of I don't know Jujutsu Kaisen. He wants to buy it. It's on sale. For ten bucks, mm. he's like, "All right, I'm gonna take out." So now he's at ninety four, but six percent of ten is what, like <laughs> six dollars? Wait, wait, six percent? Six percent? Six percent? Like six fifty <laughs> seconds? Some shit. So yeah. he, so he gonna put ten sixty back in when you know he does some some fucking chores around the house or some shit. <laughs> I'll be out. I'm at 104. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my god. Hey, but yeah. yo, but hey, it, it's something. <laughs> but see, I mean, right. it doesn't really like on the small payments. You could theoretically just overpay like 300 percent, because like it's just not isn't really. Because if you're doing stuff for 10, you just give yourself like 35. Okay, but all right. So, the, the, just cause. but that's the point that I'm trying to make too. Is that like, if you're gonna well, take, no, so I think this is how it actually works because there's no way, you know, you you start with like in Jared's example, I guess you start with a hundred, you pay seventy dollars for a game, right. you pay six percent of the seventy, which is about four dollars. Doesn't mean you're putting back in or paying yourself seventy four dollars. I believe it means you're paying. Four dollars and twenty cents for eleven months or twelve months if you started right away, and so that four dollars and twenty cents accumulates to about fifty dollars and four cents, and then the following year you put in another net injection of a hundred, and then you're left, and now you have one fifty dollars and four and forty cents. Oh, that's how it works. Oh, so it's it is reversed. Yeah. I, okay, so you're not you're not just paying yourself back. Not come, no, 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 no. You're only you're only putting back the interest rates. The interest. Okay. Because, and this is why that's a little bit more feasible then. Yeah, yeah. Because now you can <laughs> really see the accumulation. Oh, so they, so Jeff is, I'm about to get another game, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because like yeah, because then it's gonna get to a certain point where he paid off the last game. Right. You see. But so, but but my point still stands. You still need some sort of capital for this shit to work. Yeah, hundred percent. Because yeah. I mean, yeah, you need to be working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't need a job. Yeah, because <laughs> like the way dude was using this shit, and I'm like, 
I still be looking back, like, you know, just to kind of keep it in my head or to right. understand, like, the math part of it at least. Yeah. But when in the 25K example, he took out, like, about, like, 57%. Of 25k which is about like 14,366 or whatever the fuck so then he he had like this motherfucker had hella debt he had like 470,000 worth what yeah yeah rich people problem <laughs> but he had like crazy what? he had like four or five credit cards and then the other like six things or whatever was like it was like a car condo house private loan and some other shit but anyway basically i don't want to talk about it the entire time but like to start it off essentially he took out you know the 14k and change mm -hmm. and then he paid off fuck he paid off like four out of the five cards like you know wow his four credit cards and then he paid off like a great portion of like his like lowes credit card or whatever the fuck probably it was wow but but that was cuz he had the, he he took out enough to do all that to lower you know to then be able to pay himself a solid interest like overall between those five things mm -hmm. and then that like he stuck with that fixed um like interest rate accumulation to himself for the entire 12 months following into the next year and once he got into the next year then he was able to increase his accrued interest rate to himself because he paid off the Lowe's credit right, card or whatever right. the case may be. And basically the way he does it, or the way I'm reading it at least, is like whatever the minimum um what it's either it's either whatever the yeah, I think it's like whatever the minimum or the yearly payment of that credit card is. For example, you you insert that into your accrued interest. So that way, when you combine like four or five things, for example, in his example, those four things, four, yeah, like those four things accumulated into like what, like seven sixty eight dollars. So he was paying himself in interest about seven sixty eight dollars every month. Every well, yeah, every month, and then that accumulated to nine thousand four fifty six, and then he he literally took that amount, and then he added it to his next net injection which was another 25,000 and so we took like another 60% of that 25,000 and added it to the 9,000 that he got from his interest accrual and then he put more into his debt and it's a cycle because now once he paid off whatever he was able to pay off he he took that minimum or annual amount of whatever it, it was valued for and then he added it to his interest and so then it kept it keeps growing it's it's like a recycling machine so then the third year he puts in another net injection of 25k takes out maybe 60 to 70 percent depending on how aggressive he wants to be and then whatever that new uh, accrued interest rate is after the next 12 months he adds it together pays more debt all right all right check it out <clears throat> i have an idea and by the time he got to like year five or six he paid out off his debt and then he had like 30 percent more overall <laughs> all right all right or whatever all right. the fuck it was i don't even know all right but. so i have an idea right so here's my idea the next fucking console that comes 400K. out 100k no listen 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 <laughs> The first, the next console, because there's a rumor that they're gonna release the, the PS5 Nintendo Switch too. Okay, not that, <laughs> but the PS5 Pro. There's a rumor that they're gonna come out PS5 with that. Pro. Listen, listen. La there's a rumor that later this year they're gonna come out with the PS5 Pro. That's a rumor, so not real. So my idea is, since that's a big purchase. I'd imagine it would be 500 550 maybe $600 for a pro version, right? It's a better version of PS5, right? If I was to start this system out, I would take out money from my savings towards that purchase, but then I would be paying myself back to that account with whatever this percentage interest is over however many months. Okay. And then that would grow my savings yeah over time right over okay like well. you might not like after the first year <laughs> you're probably you're not gonna see your actual like you're not gonna see um that you 
paid yourself back completely yet probably um like the like the 500 or the 550 that you spent on the ps5 you'll probably you'll see maybe half of it or so by the end of the first year but then by the second year into the third year you'll you should see the full return yeah but how well why would i want it why would i extend that to be like two years of worth well of it, depend, it depends how <laughs> like what the I, fuck it dep- <laughs> like you see i guess when it comes to this is the tricky part and this is the part i'm learning about because yeah. with credit with like you know credit cards or mortgages or loans it's a lot easier to figure out because there's minimum payments and there's um it's either there's minimum payments or there's annual fees to keep it going or like in i guess what i'm saying in this terms is like because there's certain credit cards where they have an annual fee Mm. so you could essentially if you're not going to use the interest rate um if you're not going to use the interest rate once you fully pay it off um to accumulate your own interest rate over the course of you know the 12 months of you paying yourself back you could probably use the annual fee as part of that payment like to pay yourself back if that makes sense so how much would that annual fee be then so like for example i don't have uh i don't have an amex card or anything like that but like they 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 charge you (laughs) so like so like i think the blue cash preferred or some shit is like 95 dollars a year all that that shit okay yeah so if you if you use that as like your basis your base point so let's say you pay it down um you you just you pay yourself $95 in accrued interest um, over 12 months. And then if you have more things that you've paid off, then you can add that into the interest that you get. So if you want to put like a fixed interest rate that you put, because there's no interest on fucking buying a console or anything like that. Unless you use like Unless, some sort of credit, like yeah, PayPal credit or something like that. Yeah, but with <clears> this, <throat> we're, we're, we're just taking our funds and we're paying it. So we own it. Right. And then we're paying it back over the course of 12 months or, you know, right. whatever the case may be. So if you wanted to do, what, 500 divided by 12 or some shit, that would be your that would be your fixed payment. Like, if you wanted to see full return and then by the second year, you have it. You have it all back and plus you net injected another whatever the fuck. So 500 divided by 12 would be 41.66. So you would make that your accrued, every month. You would pay that you would yeah, you would make that your accrued interest rate um to yourself. Well what would be the interest do, on that? And then do no nah, there would be no interest. So <coughs> you would do that times 12. And then it's back to 500. Back to 500. And then if you wanted to I guess so that way you see like I guess the return that's part of the plan you could do anywhere between four to six percent so do so do like i guess if you want to see the max do like six percent of the what what was it 40 something 40.67 40.67 so times 0.6 right yeah and then oh add, and then add it back okay so that would be an extra 24 dollars and 40 cents yeah so then add that to the 40.6 all right, so it's 65, so 65, 65, 65 So 65 a month times 12. Oh, damn! And then add another net injection of, I guess, 500 for the second so year. Then for that's, the, your, that's, that's for your second year. So for the second year, I would have twelve uh, $1,280.86. $1, yeah, so you basically... You paid yourself back the PS5. <laughs> Yo, wait, but see, okay, wait, wait. Now, here's, here's the crazy thing, though. This, this is, this is, this is where, this is where it gets me because not only are you paying it back because you're paying yourself back for taking out your own fucking money. Now you're since it's the, the new year for the next year, you're putting in what you started with for the following year so that it would double or how. Well, well, how you'll you'll, you'll, you'll get it. a little more. You'll get a uh, yeah. But like, so if you started with five and then the next year you're putting in five back or I mean, that, that would kind of be like defeat the purpose. But like, I mean, that's very interesting. Well, you would still, but the whole thing is you still need to so, work and you still need because there's no way this works without you having so, like reoccurring money. So the thing is, is like, so you're technically not even supposed to be using the entire 100% of the funds that you initially deposit okay right right so yeah, you're yeah, supposed yeah. you're technically so so if you're realistically gonna get the ps5 and you're gonna stick to taking out 60 percent, we'll say or then you mean six percent 
Well, no, no. So, like, if you're going to use 60% of your initial injection, oh, okay, okay, then okay. you would need to probably put in, like, like 1,100. So you would have to have a bigger injection, a, a bigger starting point, yes, rather. Yes, yes. Okay. And then, yeah, and then you could, you know, follow up with everything. Well, basically that example. All right, well. And then you'll see, you'll see the return... And then in the next year, you would net inject either the same amount or half of it, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do. But it, at that point, it would be fixed. But I guess the whole point, like after you, um, they call it a premium deposit, by the way. But every every year, once you do a premium deposit Your brand. slash net injection, it's like um, after a certain period of time goes by, you start to put in less. So, right. um so that because by that point you already like kind of not you'd have it you didn't necessarily like maxim maximize everything necessarily because you could always put in more but the point is to you know let your funds run <laughs> <laughs> like you know like if you don't need to keep putting in and you're just you're consistently paying yourself back with the accrued interest you don't necessarily have to continue to put in more of your own money to so like to accumulate because you're you're using you're paying yourself back but inevitably you're paying yourself back with more each time you know depending on whatever debt we're talking about so as long as you got the money to do it then this is, a, this is a, it sounds like a decent you, plan it sounds it's it's a lot better talked over through like a spreadsheet because you could visually see it and but it like so unless like if you're mathematically challenged <laughs> <laughs> this is like you listening to this is probably fucking like that's why that's why i'm trying to break it down as best as i can yeah i'm trying to like because really honestly it. like it's not even that complicated because like i'm trying to inject common sense <laughs> because the common sense behind all of this is that none of this works unless you have money to start this whole thing off you have a job that you're able to even pay off whatever it is that you'd be borrowing from yourself and then putting back in and also helping your own money grow by paying yourself back interest. Yeah, because like, for example, if what, what's the shit? Um, what's is it after pay? So there's Afterpay, there's Klarna, there's PayPal Credit, there's yeah, so uh, Shop Pay, you know shit like that. Like if you want something, um, you know, and it's not considered debt or anything like that, it's just a purchase. Like you could still utilize this shit, but pay yourself back in, in the long run. Like instead of paying those motherfuckers, like right. if, you, if you have the bread. Pay for the whole Just thing. Pay for the whole thing. Pay yourself back. But then but pretend. More. Yeah, but pretend like like I guess I guess what this model is also pretend like, like you're paying a loan. Exactly. Yeah, like fucking <laughs> but the thing is, and I guess the whole beauty of this thing is like you get to um you get to pay you still get to pay yourself back, but you get to pay um what's the what the fuck am i looking for it you get to pay a lesser amount than what you would normally pay back to like the average loan so the thing because is you would you would, I, I mean but you would need to really keep track of all this shit though too because if you're if you're doing all of this yourself then you would need to track everything down to like the t because you know it's very it's very easy to talk about it it's another thing to execute it at the same time because like in real time in real life you know, you're 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 in and out with, you know, what you use your money for, for food, for gas, for random shit on the weekends, for whenever you decide to go out or, you know what I'm saying? Like something comes up, oh, I got to pay. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of stuff. Like you'd have to monitor all that and then also check, you know, with the the money you're you're getting from working and stuff like that. And like try to be smart with all that. So there's a lot of, like, navigation here and there, so... Yeah, Dad was... I, I was talking to Dad about it, and he was telling me how, you know, like, there's different ways and different plans to, like, I guess, do these deposits and stuff like that. So, like, depending on whatever your initial injection is, doesn't necessarily matter. Like, your first injection can be your biggest injection, and then following up the, like, the next year, couple years or whatever, I mean... 
hoping that your income grows like after year after year after year type of thing um whether it's job improvement or whatever but for example you know even if you put in like a thousand or two and then um the following year you don't necessarily have that to uh, to net inject but you have um what you would call it but you could put in like he was telling he was telling me you just add a zero next to your age and that's what you would put in Add a zero next to my age. Yeah, so you would be put it like for me, I would put in like two forty or something. Motherfucker, like <laughs> I ain't got three hundred off. Three hundred, yeah. But and I, I mean, I'd have to talk to him again. But. Well, okay. Well, this is this is an interesting conversation for sure. And like, we didn't intend on basically talking the whole episode about this, but we're already on the forty-seven minute mark. On my on my count, we got we got to talk about credit <laughs> on the next <laughs> on the next episode. Um. This will be important for Jared though too, not good Kev, because I don't know. Do you know much about credit, Jared? Debit or credit? <laughs> <laughs> no, not like debit nah, or credit. He said. Yeah. Here, here, here's here's yeah, a I know quick rule. Like, hmm? Quick, quick, quick rule of thumb. Just save your money. Don't spend it. There you go. And you'll be good. I Not mean, credit is like you pay you pay, and then you got to pay it back at the end of the month, right? Pretty much. Well, But it helps you. But really, it's like building it up. It's building the credit score. Yeah. Well, yeah, you get more credit it's... score, and then you get more. You get the benefit. Yeah. And but, then... but then you. But it's, it's realistically more so that. Whenever you get to a point in life where you want to get a car or a house or something like that, and they need to like run your credit, mm -hmm. if so you don't it, like, if you don't like use your credit, hmm? it defeats the purpose <laughs> of it. Because then, why would you need a credit score to get a loan if you're just gonna get a loan from yourself? Well, yeah, uh -huh. like, this, this, this is where it, this is where it comes into play. But again, you like depending on how much you need to borrow, etc. Depends on how. I mean, well, you yeah, you're probably not going to have plan. the bread to get a house. So you probably need a loan from the bank for that. But then you can pay back the loan from the bank <laughs> by, pay, by getting a loan from yourself and then paying yourself back. That, that would be kind of crazy. Would, that would be a little complicated. You would need, you would, no, 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 that wouldn't work because you would need however much you're looking for in the loan. There'd be no, there'd be no way. There'd be no way. <laughs> what he just said, there'd be no way for you to do it. You would have to be rich already. And if you're rich, what's the point? Yeah, I don't know. You would have to walk away. Like, that, that, like there's shit. no point of getting a, a fucking mortgage loan or whatever the fuck. And no. Then, and then using your own personal load from the 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 whole life savings account or whatever the fuck. Yeah, so, okay, so, all right. Pay, so, I mean, well, what, if you, what if you loan yourself the monthly payment? <laughs> And then pay back what you paid in the monthly payment from the bank loan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I see what you're saying, but then that that's a complete fuck. <laughs> like that's a, that's a complete like shit show in the spreadsheet. But I'm sure you could probably make it happen. <laughs> he, he said, "What if you pay back the payment of the payment that you paid, but you loaned it, but you got it from yourself?" <laughs> <laughs> it's just a lot of loops at that point. You yeah, know, I mean, being your own bank is definitely a that's a goal. But see, that's like I think that's kind of like a little crack in the whole system is that when you when you are trying to actually build credit, then this whole system doesn't really it doesn't apply to you, I guess, because in order to build credit, you need to actually use like actual credit cards and shit like that. Well, of course, like so like. But then you could use a loan system to pay back the credit. Like, I guess I guess he's not that, wrong. I guess he's not wrong on that. Yeah, though. no, no. But that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're gonna have revolving credit, because once you have credit cards, as long as you don't kill yourself. Type but of that's thing, the thing. Like, you're gonna you have revolving credit, so you know you're still gonna be able to pay off all these cards that you have. But with doing that, you're still paying yourself any type of interest. Oh, but hold on, all right, all right. So to his to his point. He said, if you're going to start accumulating credit, you take a loan out from yourself to use for the credit card. That means that 
wouldn't you be ha- w- wouldn't you be paying your interest towards yourself and them? No, you're not paying. If you if you pay your credit card. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, off, you're right, you're, you're right, you're right. Yeah, all right, yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure, clarify yeah, that no, in no, case no, anybody no. thought that. You see, if you if you did the other way around, where it's like, well, you're buying. You, Jerry, Jerry wants to buy a fucking house or some shit, but he doesn't have <laughs> all the funds in in the savings account to pull it off. This is hundred dollars, hundred four. <laughs> then it's like, then yeah, he would need to take a bank loan for it, and then. If he's planning on taking bread out from the whole life savings shit and applying it towards the loan, like he would kind of be doubling it in a sense, like to pay off the interest and then paying himself, you know, like no, that, like, that, that'll that be complicated. Get a loan, you get a loan from the bank <laughs> for the house. Let's say the house is like two, 250K. Okay. So monthly... I don't know how they do it, but let's just say you got to pay back like 5k monthly for a span of however years. I don't you, know. Usually mortgages are like 30 years. That's yeah, usually like 2 20... fucking percent, 3 percent. I mean, that's if you do the 20 percent down payment. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure like okay, that. but like what if it's like 5k a month? Okay, all right, all right. So then you take a loan from yourself of the 5k plus interest and then you pay back yourself that much i'd have to see on the spreadsheet well no oh no i (laughs) think i think i know what he's saying so basically he's saying like whatever the interest of that 5k is that you're paying back like the bank that you're paying yourself back throughout that entire year you'd be like so you're saying jared you're basically saying the bank (laughs) the bank loan for the house is 5k a month yeah. And you would be taking out 5K a month. Or you You'd would take you, more than 5 because you, you have to pay yourself back the interest. Okay, so you're basically All saying you're, you're basically saying take out five, maybe a little extra, pay the monthly payment for the lo- for the bank loan, but then you're taking the percentage of the 5K and paying yourself back monthly? Into the the whole life savings account. I mean, I know. I think we gotta cut this now. <laughs> yeah, no, that was... Now we're just confusing ourselves. All right, guys, that was a great conversation. Wonderful, wonderful uh, change of pace here on the Full Power Podcast. I don't think, I don't know, well, this, that's our first time we've ever had this kind of an episode before. Um, we have a little bit of time to get into some comments that were left on some of the more recent uh, content pieces over on the channel. So again, if you have any comments, question, concerns, obviously drop them in the comments below on these videos, the lives and whatnot. And uh, super thanks. For, to get yours read, prioritized. So here we go. So this person uh, left this comment on the recent live episode that we did. Um, talking about Ninja Kamui episode 3. They said, I am at episode 3 of Soul Leveling. Thanks for recommending it. Ninja Kamui will be next on my list. Look at that. We have influenced our folks to check out the good shit. So Which changed your life. Okay, right, right. So what, <laughs> what, what do you say to that? What, Ninja Kamui? The fact that we got them onto Soul Leveling and Ninja Kamui. Did they follow the system? <sighs> Is that all you care about? I need my ratings. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, is that we talked about it. We got them hyped enough to watch it, whether it was using your fucking system or not. Okay, I want you to understand something. When we talk about something, we are their system. You feel me? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. <clears throat> okay, as long as you understand that, then we're fine. All right. This next person says, oh, it's Dante TX. Shout out to Dante TX from the uh, Thriving Ozaras on the Patreon page. Sorry. He says, Ninja Kamui is crazy good. Yeah. Facts. Yo. Do you agree, Jared? Yeah. Okay. All right, so this next person, right? So they said, oh, this is a long one. All right, here we go. So I had to come back to this. Where did it come out that Sung Jin Woo has three different voice actors? Only Taito Ban is credited as his voice, and that guy just has impressive vocal range. 
So uh, I guess he did Dr. Stone, One Punch Man, Oshinoko, The Eminence and a Shadow Angel, Next Door, Spoils Me Rotten, Catherine Full Body, Twisted Wonderland, etc. That's a lot of fucking Jesus work. Christ. I mean, it, I don't know. Oh, I don't know if he has. I don't know if there is three voices, but like it sounds like it's three voices. But it might just be one guy with like insane vocal. You range. mean it, yo? Yeah. I fucking I, yo. I never said it was three. I said it sounded like three. Fair enough. That's fair. He says it is. It is a Damien Clark Selvier situation of the guy being able to do different voices. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, it's not uncommon for something like that to happen. Um, especially in uh, well, I feel like it's uncommon, especially in like the U.S. You know, there's like voice actors that if they have different versions of the character, I mean, depending on how young or older they are, they end up still voicing them. But like if it's like a drastic change, like when you have kid Goku and then adult Goku, they got separate voice actors for that. However, unless you're Nazawa-san, who is the who is the voice actress for Goku in Japan she voices all of them. She voices Goku, Gohan, Goten, and all the kid versions. The whole fucking cast. Pretty much. <laughs> she is a god, and she's in her 80s. Oh, that's crazy. Exactly. Even even Sean Schemmel himself is like, he feels like he's in the presence of a god when he's around her because he's like, I don't even know how she does it. Cause I, at she, 80s? At, and... and, 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 and 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 she's like very spunky about it. So like God bless her fucking soul. She needs to be protected at all costs. All right. This next person says, Brother Ooch talking about that big Z big Zenny had me dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. What was that? This big was Z? Zenny? Oh, this was the Okay, so they commented this on an episode we did. Oh, it must have been a Jeez, time. this was episode ninety nine. Oh, this was last year for sure. Big Zenny. Also from Dante TX, he says, Sorry, Brandon, but OG Dragon Ball is great. Agreed. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you were to watch Dragon Ball OG, OG Dragon Ball right now, you would fucking laugh and you would have a great time. I know he would laugh and have a great time. It's a fun show. I feel like I would be bored. You, a part of you, yes, <laughs> would probably be bored, but like there are certain elements to it that... I at least appreciate looking back at it because you and everybody else knows the story of Dragon Ball Z. Mm, that I could probably go back and watch. Okay, I know you can because you did it as it, a but... youngin several times over on the Orange Bricks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay? Now, when it comes to original Dragon Ball, there's moments in the story with all of the newfound knowledge, the updated knowledge on how the story is now, when you look back to see how it was back in the day and you make the connection that there was never, like, any, like, uh, real intention or clue that this is where it was going to lead to, mm -hmm. is, is makes you amazed at, like, what the fuck? Like, this dude, Toriyama, is just a genius or something, right? Because... What there's a part where Goku obviously has a moment where he looks at the moon, he turns into an ape. But in Dragon Ball, they they the the word Saiyan doesn't even exist. Mm -hmm. They don't know the truth. No one knows the truth. Grandpa Gohan literally just like you know, like the story says, like found him out of a spaceship or whatever. Or he he found them and he raised him. And he doesn't know he doesn't know where he came from, mm -hmm. but we know where he came from. Mm -hmm. So when you see it happen and you see his story flesh out, you see him learn the Kamehameha. It's like you get to see Goku in his true childlike form. His head got dropped. He got dropped. Yeah, on his head. he got dropped in his head and everything. But like when you see <laughs> how he like comes to be, like he's like all like he's always been about his training, and it's so funny because. Be like, Master Roshi, like, where are we? What are we doing today? And then Roshi's like, oh, ask, ask that girl to go on a date with me type shit. <laughs> and he's like, uh, 
how is this training? Like, like that shit is so <laughs> fucking funny. Like it's it's hilarious. Like you have to see it to believe it. So yes, OG Dragon Ball is fucking fire. All right, but again, guys. Oh yeah, did you have anything to add to that? By the way. Okay. Well, of course you didn't. <laughs> of course you didn't. Anyways, uh, don't forget, guys. Leave your comments on in, in the comment section below, and um, pretty sure we're gonna make um. We're going to make some adjustments to try to just make these weekly again. Because I said this in the live, and I'm going to say this for this episode. I feel so weird doing bi-weekly and having you guys see an episode of ours that we did like weeks in advance. It's just, And it doesn't, it doesn't line up with anything that's happening. You know, because like, if, like, yeah, that's why we do lives. But at the same time, it's like, it's it's just not the same. Mm -mm. So we're going to, I don't know, like, if you guys have been enjoying the bi-weeklies, let me know. If you guys missed the weeklies, let me know. Um, because of the timing, as far as, like, how, what, like, the time, the, the, the kind of time I get to put into the, the way I've been editing these, you know, I'm hoping, I'm hopeful that you guys have been enjoying the, the, the new editing style and what that, and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I guess just let me know your thoughts and everything like that. And because truthfully, I feel like the bi-weekly episodes are hurting us. The viewership has dropped. And it's not really something that, you know, we should probably talk about, <laughs> but we keep it completely real. And, uh, you know, I, and, and you guys support us, you know, we have, you know, you guys that are still tune in every week and, and tune into the lives and are on the Patreon. So like, we definitely appreciate you guys. So, yeah, this is like a, a very honest conversation. We're just trying to figure things out and seeing like what would work best for us. Um, I mean, if we were going to go back to weekly, then I might have to not do the, what do we call it, our lives as much. Yeah. Like, you know, maybe, there would have to be some sort of trade off yeah, or something. Definitely a trade off. Like maybe not, maybe not do the lives every week. Yeah. You know, yeah, there would, it would have to be some sort of trade off. So. Um, but yeah, guys, talk to us in the comments, write us, email, whatever, show, share your thoughts in whatever way you possibly can. Um, so, uh, any thoughts on that, uh, IQ that you want to add to that? No. No. Okay. I think we should do weekly. You want to go back to weekly? It's better. I get to, I get to speak Bet. about solo leveling. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> gotcha alright fair enough well in that case uh, let's see here it is that time for the Patreon shout outs yes uh. Uh. <laughs> my finger slipped anyway if you guys want to hear your name shout out at the end of these episodes, you want to support us, you want to build up this community, you want to become a thriving Rosaru, then make sure you're hitting us on the Full Power Podcast on the Patreon page today. Let's get it. All right, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to do the. Oh, I'm gonna need you to say thank you. I'm gonna need you to do your fill-ins. Uh, All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. All right, let me get, let me get an explosion. Ready? Go. Deontay Sheridan, thank you! Thank you, thank oh, you! Billy Hamball! <laughs> Billy! Anthony Parker, thank you, yeah! Anthony Park, thank, thank you! Chris Rodriguez, thank you! Rodriguez! Not TTX, thank Second you, bitch! Gracias! Oh. Jarek Rivera, thank you! Our boy Juice, Juice! Lord Payne, Payne and he's not! Gracias. Mr. Back again, once again! Back again, once again! Mr. Wash. Mr. Wash that Odd Thank man you. out. I never got that nigga. Who's Thank gonna you. get budget that? Really? Thank you. <laughs> Soul Awakens. Wake Thanks. your ass up. Wake it. <laughs> Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. Oh, thank you. Soul. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Travis Boy, yeah. Travis Boy, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Final Chidori. Vegeta Final Uchiha. Final Chidori. Thank you. Yeah. And last but not least. Worse than a demon. Thank you. Demon time. Demon time. Thank you. Demon time. Yeah. <laughs> Attention.
Attention! I know I've said his name before, but we're gonna do it again. Yeah. He's the only one! Yeah. Land of the Rising Sun! <laughs> He's our fucking boy! His name is... Juice! 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 Here we go. Whip it up. Guys, if you want to hear your name shot at the end of these episodes, like I said, make sure you're hitting us up. Full Power Podcast on the Patreon page. That's Full Power Podcast on the Patreon page for all of the exclusives, the bonus material, the extra content, the support, helping us get new shit, and, you know, pushing us forward to doing this full time. So, Patreon page. And if you have a comment, question, concern, business, inquiry, or fan art you're trying to sponsor, hit us up, fullpowerpod at gmail.com. That is fullpowerpod at gmail.com. That was oh. kind of tough. It was it. It'll get it'll get ooh, better ooh, in time. It, it'll get better in time. I, I just have to see. I told him to say thank yous, but I said thank yous anyway. Yeah, I said thank you the first time, but then I was just flowing at that point. Yeah, with it, 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 it'll come. It'll come. It'll come. Take it away. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Awi awi an sora Hit us up on the motherfucking bluebird on Twitter at full power pod. Alright boys. Oh god. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> we did it again, another episode down the banks. So yeah, I guess uh I guess weekly? <laughs> so the other thing that I have to figure out how the hell am I gonna get Kai back on here Yo, I haven't seen that man in a minute and none of us have yeah that's true because what's his schedule his schedule completely dodges everything not even just this but like everything he works seven days a week he works all the days that I don't work, and I work all the days he does work. So basically, like, he works all throughout the weekday. I mean, we all work during the weeks and stuff. But his hours, since there's a time difference, mm. that's the big problem. So it's like, I don't know. When does he get out? Like, his time? Or our time, if you know. Oh, like, like by the time, dumb late. Like, like, we would be asleep by the time he would get off of work, essentially. He if, works today, like same. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So what it's about like yesterday, he works during the week. Oh, uh. <laughs> that's like what about the weekend? Well, the weekend's a lot harder because it's like well, I know yeah. I work Sundays. You work certain weekends. Well, I don't work Sundays no more. Oh, and now you don't. But I work Saturday sometimes. It's like a rotation. Yeah, it's a rotation. Me, I work every Sunday, and then if I'm not when I'm not working, I'm with the fiance. Yeah, so I'm that's 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 very difficult. So IQ, you don't have none of these problems. You're young. Enjoy your time. <laughs> I, mean, I got. I mean, I got school. I gotta go to bed at twelve. <laughs> that's yeah. my only restriction. <laughs> yeah, guys. That's your restriction. You got, or is that your personal restriction? I mean, it's like twelve. I stretch twelve, twelve thirty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, yeah, I, I do my own thing. <laughs> Until sometimes his, we go to one. Sometimes we go to one. Until until his mom knocks on the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. All right. Brother, what you got left for the people at home? Stay fresh, stay clean. Get yourself a nice fucking cologne. Three, four sprays minimum. Stay fresh. All right. Oh, no. He hasn't done it for like the past That's what days. I was saying. Do you realize you went without dissing these people? I forgot my slog. Your slog? Can you fucking <laughs> say slogan. the whole thing? <laughs> slow. What happened to the Ann? <laughs> Disappeared. My slog? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that is so ridiculous. IQ, what do you got left for the people at home? Money, 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 money. <laughs> Type shit. <laughs> oh, you gotta add that into there. <laughs> that shit was scary. I was, like, what the fuck? I was like, shit. what the fuck is he putting? <laughs> oh my god, that is Mr. Krabs. Holy shit. It took me a second to let that register. All right. That was, the- that was funny as hell. That was a good, good, good call. Good call. All right. Very interesting episode. Hopefully you guys stay tuned for the next one. And we're going to get back on this weekly schedule. Hopefully you guys are cool with that. But let us know your thoughts on this schedule, this release schedule right now. Um, And like, what do you want us to talk about? And whatnot. So anyways, guys, it's been your boy. Ooch. The Iceman, Brother Ooch, and not so little IQ Ooch. Make sure you guys take care of yourselves. May the power of take you blog little right here on this podcast. Stay safe, stay clean, and stay the hell inside. And we'll see y'all next time. I fucking love doing it. Oh my god. Alright. See ya. You know, one day, we're going to have to come up with lyrics for that. (laughs) One day. And you know, one of the hooks is going to have to be. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Shout out to this chin (laughs) chin.